So during the next couple episodes, if you hear an annoying, loud, squeaking noise in the background, you're going to have to deal with it. That's just how life is. Hey everybody, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we finished up Island Quest. And in the background, I got the rest of the Triforce. Yes, it took me two and a half hours to get it. But, man, I'm so excited to get on with the story, away from the islands, and just screw Ganon. Well done, Iron. You must show the Triforce piece that you have assembled to the gods. Oh, what is this? There on your hand. The Triforce piece now dwells within you. This is the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods have been bestowed upon you. Surely from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. Iron Hero wins. Go forth to Hyrule to Zelda side. So that, I, I, I like that scene, it's really well played out, I like the music, it's really well done, actually I like this, like it has a dark ominous but very friendly tone, uh, that's, that's why I love this HD remake, it sets the tone of what should have been there on the GameCube version, and you, get, you even get the light from the freaking door, oh wow I love this, oh. But you are, we are back to me commentating nonstop for 20 or so minutes. So you're going to have to deal with that again. Oh, boohoo. <laughs> Anyways, man, I'm so excited. Hey, Zelda. How's it going, girl? Even Link's happy to see her. Man, I'm feeling the same thing as you, man. It's, it's insane. You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there's no safe haven for you. I have you. T I have taken your prisoner. I have taken your precious Zelda. And here you shall fall into eternal slumber. Really? That's all? Man, you guys sound constipated. But what is any Zelda without constipation? I mean, really. Anyways, these guys are just as every single Dark Nut here in this game. You just do this every time. I mean, they think you're gonna die pretty quick with it. But, eh. I'm not too worried. I mean,. I've fought in at least six or seven of these guys already. Come on. Okay. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. There we go. Oh, okay. I should actually pull you guys into the center. There we go. You're closer, so you're going to strike first. You. Oh, I was wondering if I could hit him. Okay. I'm actually more... I'm concentrating so much on this because I don't want to... 
I don't want to lose all of my hearts, or at least most of them. There we go. Can I hurt you with this? Oh! Oh! Win! Oh. That's awesome. Um, okay, hopefully it doesn't... Oh, you... Oh, good thing I had the bow set. Or, yeah, the... What is this? Boomerang! <laughs> bow. Oh. I got it just in time, though. I really need those nice crests. Knights crests. I really need those knights crests. Only for um, one thing and one thing only in Ganon's castle. Spoilers, if you haven't noticed. Oh, the was there beams here? Could I not leave when I came? I don't know. It's been too long. Anyways, what do we have here? I think yeah. Yeah, there we go. Um, I This is actually all the way around. I didn't notice that. But um, I watched, actually, um, I was watch this cutscene here. This is the best one. Second to best. You would think Link got hurt from that, but uh, I watched Cosmo. Uh, if you don't know who Cosmo, it's Cosmo Wright on uh, Facebook, and it's Cosmo Speedruns uh, on Twitch, actually. And uh, he has actually set two world records for Arcarina Time Speedrun. He has beaten it in 18 minutes and 34 seconds or something like that. Um, he's bloody fantastic. He's one of my favorite speedrunning peoples. These look really weird for some reason. Just, I don't know. Maybe it's just how it is. Like, the, the texture. There we go. You're dead. You're gonna try to hit me. There we go. Uh, it's not like the Boko Boblins, or whatever they're called. Uh, where I can just, like, spam the the B button and destroy their face holes. But uh, back to what I was saying, Cosmo set a couple of speed runs and made a video on how you cannot pass that barrier uh, when you first uh, come across it, um, when you retrieve the Master Sword for the first time. Or, well, the, when you retrieve the Master Sword the only time. And uh, he said that it's very, very impossible. Like, if somebody found out, it would be like it would be game changing uh oh crud <laughs> uh should it crap can i there we go whoa he was about to okay here we go oh he took that to the nards oh what a true hero oh oh yeah i forgot about the knight's crest <laughs> uh i think i need 21 if i'm not mistaken I need my items here. Should actually set it. Uh, actually, I get my bow. Or, I keep on saying bow. I need my boomerang. I guess it's just like the same. Oh, okay. I guess it's just the same first two words, bow and boomerang. So, anyways, maybe I'm just too excited to get through this. But man, alive! Oh crap! This is this is it, guys. L listen to this music. Actually, I, on my, oh, ouch, uh, on my own, I have figured out how to play this theme on the piano. It's just the lowest, two lowest notes. You just hit it, you know, just, do, 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 and you just do that over and over. I actually freaked out um, my teacher doing that because cause, um, he was watching like this, um, like World War Two show with like for uh, class in grade eleven, and I did start playing that when it was like Hitler's going nuts, and it was showing like all the Jews being killed, and he was like it fit the tone so well, and I didn't feel right. It just oh I didn't oh my goodness he was like freaking out. 
<laughs> and I was like, hey, at least I scared you. You know, that's an accomplishment. But, we are going into the pit of eight trials, I believe, uh, if not six. This is actually very cool. I like this. But there is a cheat to it. I already have this out. Uh, I was not prepared for this episode, actually. So it's quite coincidental that uh, I have this. I'm going to set this here. And if I... No. Alright. Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad I have that. Um, so what you want to do is practically just do this on over and over and not get hit by that. Um, what I like to do is just kind of do this. Go all the way to the top and not get hit by him. Thankfully, in the GameCube version, well, thankfully in this version, uh, you don't die like the those enemies, whatever. The what, what are they? Bubbles. Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm trying to think and talk and focus at the same time. Uh, in the GameCube version, the bubbles would actually knock you off if you were climbing up or anything. So. Thankfully, in this one, they just had you injured. Also, what a reoccurrence to black and white. This evil fiend. Also, on the gamepad, if you weren't aware, I'm going to get eaten in a second here. Um, on the Wii U gamepad, which I'm playing on, if you have not uh, you know, heard me say that a couple times when I switched it over to the Wii U version, on the gamepad, it actually limits. Same with the GameCube version, too, don't get me wrong there. On the GameCube version and the Wii U version, uh, when you go back to a certain boss, a lot of frame drops here actually is actually really, really bad. Holy crap, that's a lot. Of... How did I get hit? Did did, did, did that. Really? Anyways, I'm just being thrown all sorts of stuff at me here at the moment. Uh, so, in both GameCube and Wii version, um, it will set all of your your items back to where it was when you actually first fought the boss. So, as for instance on this one, it only gives you the mail bag, the spoils bag, and, uh, you know, the Picto Box, the Fairy, um, the Tingle bottle thing, whatever. Man, that thing's going nuts. And your hook shot, or whatever this is. Um, I forget what it's called. Um, like grappling hook. So, there we go. So you don't have all your weapons to use against it, or else it'd be just stupid. Wow, they they changed up the music in this. It's cool. Oh, you foul being. Get over here. Also, uh, the Master Sword in, in full on... Oh, I killed it! Oh my goodness, that's awesome. I never had that happen. Um, I might go through two of these, actually. Yeah, there's a bit of four trials. I was thinking of eight. Where did that come from? Uh, but I don't even know what I was talking about. I'm just going to keep on going. Maybe I'll remember in a couple seconds. Oh yeah, I was <laughs> talking about how the the grappling hook killed. Oh, now I have all my items in this one. That's weird. There's a total voice crack there. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. Anyways, this is the second dungeon. I forget where you, this is found. Somewhere in the Great Deku Tree. But, uh, where Deku Trees, you know, sprout at that turn in time. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm just wasting time here. I want to get through this. I'm actually legitly happy um, that I'm here. And I'm already going through... Oh, I have to do that. There we go. Get over here. I'm genuinely, ha genuinely happy that I am here. I'm already going through two boss pause battles already um they, you can feel my ecstatic and how much rage I'm gonna have in a couple seconds here never mind but um oh I don't want those 
I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk that. I'm dead. Gonna take it. Um, I don't have grandma soup though. That's actually saddening because I need grandma soup. Uh, anyways, um, you practically get the gist of this. It's very simple and easy. So I'm going to skip to where I get to the boss battle. So we are at the second boss, and I'm actually legitly frightened at the, the music here, because it's just a little bit morphed, only because it's Ganon. He likes to morph everything. But um, this one should go by really fast. I went by it actually more than quickly um, when I... Wow, that's a lot of frame drops. What is it with this? Is this... Just how it is. Anyways, um, I went through this way really fast, actually. Oh, I d okay. Um, I went through that boss actually really quickly, just with my normal sword. And the first time we fought um, that boss, this one was actually really easy, and I got lucky with the uh, the spin attack there. I would go to the the next boss. We're going to leave that to the next episode. Um, Judging by how fast I'm going to go through here, um, I may be fighting Ganon in the next two episodes. That's actually really, really riveting. But I'm going to leave that for the next couple of episodes. If you enjoyed this episode, hit like. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe. Um, actually, I'm going to stop saying subscribe from now on, only because I'm. This is the last little bit of my channel um, I'm going to be moving on to a separate channel separate name and everything but I'm going to be explaining that on the last episode of this Wind Waker series until then I'll see you guys next time